Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll be downloading top five must have open source apps that is crazy and free to download. And before we proceed with this video, I'd like to say thank you and a happy new year to all my viewers and subscribers who's been helping this channel and grow faster. I really appreciate that one guys and I hope you had an awesome new year. And if you're watching this video for the first time or if you missed my previous video, don't worry, I'll throw everything in the link in the description below, including all the download links. And I'll throw a card in the corner right here, which is Android must playlist and for disclaimer purpose these videos are for education purpose only once that's out of the way let's go install some crazy free apps let's go okay number one in the list is called Hypatia so Hypatia it is a malware detection app for your Android device yes there might be a lot of people out there who will be have this one say you don't need a malware detection or you don't need any sort of antivirus for your Android device guess what every device is vulnerable so including Macs Windows Linux anything um, they think of they are prone to get malware or viruses depending on what degree it is talking about this app this is particularly for your android device so let's go and see what it actually does when you install it for the first time you have to uh, install the database that means database they have provided here and it will actually scan based on the database and it will tell you what it is so let's talk about a couple of things so these things are just a, just a general thing but external database so it can actually get an external database so link scanner real-time scanner scan system uh, scan apk files as well and they actually can scan internal storage scan external as well so if you have anything connected with this device and then you can actually scan scan this one as well I can give you a quick real-time scan here so right here in the screen what you can do you see right there's an, a play button with a green play press that wait for a few seconds you will see uh, it will actually start scanning and this is by the way open source project i really want to say thank you to you guys as well so because you are creating an awesome app that is actually protecting all the android devices i know you install multiple apps from different website and you want to make sure that you know those apps that you installed in device is actually safe to use that are providing any sort of a shady information but what it actually does it takes a bit of time it actually loads the database so you can see right here loaded database with these numbers of signatures and it will start hashing the file it will actually try to match up with those database and actually start scanning and it will tell you if there are any information or any sort of app that it actually uh, has a malware installed or malware like hidden inside the apk file as well so it's going to take a bit of while wait for a few seconds and you will see it will provide you with a sort of a small information that you can actually see and you can actually uh, action it as well so this is one of the great application you can install on your android device and for this video purpose i've been testing this app for over a week as well and actually works as well so this is the good one and we're going to see the uh, end results shortly and then after we're going to move into the next app as well and i want to show you what it actually provides too okay as you can see here it has actually scanned 7609 files all this file has been a match with the database that means that any malware or not so it will actually show you no matches found that means your scan has been complete no malware if there are any malwares on your device then guess what this will actually provide you with that one so i want you to give it a try comment down below if you like this application or not or if you have used this application previously so let's move into number two two in a list is called image toolbox image toolbox it is all-in-one image editing application that's completely open source and free to use there's no bloatware there's no in-app purchases or nothing like that let's go one thing at a time so in a single edit so you can edit one image and then you can do a lot of things like all this resize converting format crop uh, remove xf data and everything so let's talk about the xf data xf data means all the information and that you have captured on your device so if you have taken a photos in the beach area guess what it actually try to capture information from your location everything you can delete that um, from this one as well let's pick one image uh, just a random image right here I'm gonna pick that I'm gonna press open and and from here we can do a whole lot of things you can edit the XF data as I mentioned before you can uh, resize you can change this in a car or you want to change the red green whatever you want to do you can do it here as well so from here you can change the preset 290 80 degree or you and change the width as well you can change the width quality of that one image format as well compress image as well a resize as well scale as well there are a lot of things in this 
one application this is a cool one so and by the way this is an open source you can see right here this open source platform you know there are a lot of inbuilt image editing software and your and device as well pre built in but this is something different that your actual inbuilt image editing software or application doesn't provide and press create as well you can see right here in the create section you get filters as well draw background removing a lot of app it requires you to pay for the background removing guess what it has a completely free if you go to image as well you can pick a color OCR which is a text recognition software as well which is built in in this application image to SVZ and in the tool section you can do you can see right here PDF tool document scanner Q our code color turn look there's a lot of things you can explore on this one specific application give it a try and comment down below if you like this application or not or if you enjoy this application or not or if you have used this one or not so this is a great application let's move into number three number three in the list is called quick tiles so quick tile it is a great game changing application if you want to change your tiles which is if you swipe from top to the bottom then you'll be able to see there's a multiple toggles here and if you want to expand this toggle or you want to you know do that you can swipe it here or you can just swipe it straight from the from the top right here and you'll be able to expand this thing one so if you see there's a, like a pen icon we said edit icon you press that edit you can actually change either the top or the full for this video purpose i want to do the full one press edit and you can see there are multiple uh, option you can change you can remove and put it but the available buttons here are very limited you can see right here you can see there's a limited option but having this quick tile application will give you authority to change things around so to add things around as well and you can put a custom app on there as well let me explain you what it is so for let's go from the media control you can do open apps as well in open apps i generally use i'll just turn this up we generally use a local send so local send is like obviously an app that can actually transfer between multiple platform i use mac i use windows i use iphone i use android as well so for the testing purpose for me to send a file between those two applications i constantly need this local send because there's no quick share value between Mac and Android or any other devices but having this uh, local send uh, available in one swipe guess what you can actually turn this local send straight off the bat having this quick tile application actually gives me an power or gives me an uh, extra set of hands that i can actually change things around and make it like a quick shortcut so in order for you to do that you see these custom icons is a, a dot menu press that you can check or you can select anything for example i'm going to put a, a tail scale up there it's a tail scale again you can go check my previous video you can comment down below i can do the uh, tail scale full application review on this channel as well so once you do that it's not going to change you have to go back in the quick tile settings press this edit button edit section whichever you want to go and swipe on the side as well you can see tail scale is already up there but uh, in generally if you have uh, multiple things in there the tail scale option will be available right here which is in terms of app as well so this is a beauty of having this application and i'll explore a couple of things as well there are a lot of uh, system utilities as well so you can do take a, a screen timeout screen on time it's just brightness force rotation fixed rotations battery level heads up as well you can do a counter reset as well and developer option as well so you see the usb debugging usb a wireless debugging mode um, animation scale and things like that so these this is the good one and I really want to shout out to these people who's been working in the background and making these things happen thank you to you guys and comment down below if you like this application or not if you have used this application previously or which feature is a good one or which one are you gonna put it in the tile like what I do which is a local send okay number four in the list is called FF shares so FF share it is actually a compression application you can install on your device for example if you have one gig of um, just say video file or say higher than one one gig or two gig or three gig or four gig and you want to compress and send it to somebody else guess what it is impossible for you to send it through your device unless you are sending it as a link or something like that but if you install this which is it uses a format called ffmpeg so which is called fast forwarding moving picture and expert group so there is this is an open source like a project that actually can compress the file in using that um like you know using through fmpeg before sharing them and then you'll be able to compress it um and you're not going to lose the quality that's the beauty of it and having this application can actually do a lot of things let's explore this one and see what you can get if you go into settings enable logs you're going to get enable logs up to you you don't want need logs don't worry about it compress media name so you want to change it to original or you want to make it custom you can do that as well compress media name you got it prevent xf tag so you want to prevent that xf tag like a whole location information you can do that and your conversion here so this is the beauty of it so you want to convert any sort of image or any sort of video or any sort of audio anything 
into different format guess what you can do that as well so you can change it as well so video as well you can change it to original format or if you want to convert to mp4 you can convert to mp4 as well this is in build by the way you don't have to get a different extension and you want to get audio as well you get some different audio you want to compress it and you want to change it to mp3 you can do that as well here and then in terms of treat gif as a video so there are a lot of things in compression ratio as well so fm peg so there's a faster fast medium slow or slower so depending on the device if your device is high and device guess what you can select it to faster or you can select to fast or medium or if you don't need it straight away guess what you can just go to medium as well the encoding as well so it says do not uh, specify let that software de decide which video encodings uh, you get it so de depending h264 is just general one as well and then audio coding as well maximum video resolution you can get a maximum no limit or if you want to get some certain limit as well you can do that as well so this is a beauty of it but let's demonstrate okay let's select one image here as well i'm just going to select a random like the same image as well it will actually compress so for, from here onward i can uh, send this file to anything else if it was a uh, higher than one or two gig you actually can compress to small format and you'll be able to share things uh, across the board or you can send it to your friends and family members so this is the beauty of having this application this is open source and it's available for you to download and give it a try comment down below if you like this application or not or what sort of scenario or situation you have used this application for let's move on to number five now okay number five on the list is called a uh, netguard so netguard it is an open source app that you can install on your any sort of android device and then this will help you in a couple of different things first one it actually controls the traffic that is internet access given to your application for example if you're using any sort of app like for example i'm going to be opening up the chicken crossing one as well i can play this one i can open it up but now what happens is when you're playing any sort of a game or any sort of a things then what happens is the ad triggers between this application so by having this application you can go back in this well, obviously the app you can find that app which is the, obviously the chicken one. Oh, let's go chicken crossing the road find it out and then you can turn off that internet access so now this doesn't have an internet access and the second thing it is good on is you can turn off all the internet access on each and individual application and you can save battery on your device this is just the free version but if you go for pro version let's go back in settings and pro feature what you can get is a view a block traffic log filter network traffic new app notification your network speed graph as well appearance theme obviously just general stuff these are these uh, if you are paying for the pro version but for us a general uh, population what we can do is you can use this application to turn off the internet access check the monitor the traffic as well and you'll be able to be a little bit safer or you don't want any sort of annoying ads and while you're playing game or any sort of things guess what this app will do the job this sums up my total top five open source android app for 2025 guys if you like this type of content smash that like one consider subscribing share with your friends and family members who need these type of awesome crazy apps meanwhile guys be happy stay safe uh, welcome to 2025 this is genesec 6 signing out peace